Hello guys. So it is Monday, March 31st. I've been in lockdown since mm, I actually kind of did a self-isolation before an official lockdown here in France, but as many of you know anyway, I am living in Paris currently and we are in a lockdown until April 15th at the least. So, 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 so. We are going to get up to some things today. I am going to walk you through what I've been getting up to in a day. <laughs> today, I actually want to get a start on some of my spring cleaning, but this is not going to be a spring cleaning vlog, don't worry. I wanted to share with you how I'm going about spring cleaning because to be honest, I don't have the patience and I also don't want to spend a whole day doing a spring clean because I have so many things I want to work on and that I have to work on. So I've been actually sectioning it into days where I spend like 30 minutes to an hour on spring cleaning like a certain area. So today it's gonna be the closet. I wanna walk you through my workouts, um, what my like work day kind of looks like today and yeah getting outside for my one hour allowed time of being outside. But I've definitely gotten into a system and a flow. I've adopted a new morning routine, like nothing planned. It just kind of like unveiled itself to me. So I have a new morning routine that I guess is my quarantine morning routine. I filmed that for TikTok. So you guys can see that on there if you are interested. I'll leave that TikTok link below. And I am on TikTok and I love it. I'm having so much fun. We'll talk about what I'm doing and work stuff in another vlog. Right now, I just want to focus on a typical day and give you guys some ideas of how to, you know, of things to do because a lot of us have a little more extra time on our hands. So I have my latte here, cheers. Let's begin this vlog. Though so first, I do wanna let you guys know this vlog is in sponsorship with Premium Jane CBD Oil. I've been really interested in CBD oil ever since I've heard of it. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have, I have scoliosis, but I also have a lot of neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. I like really honestly don't like to hyper-focus on it and let everyone know because um, I do believe in speaking things into existence, so it's just not something I, I focus on, but it's also not something I can completely ignore because it's pain and it's there. So when I heard about CBD oil coming up, like being coming more of a popular topic, I think about a year ago, I did start getting a little interested in it and Premium Jane reached out to me and I was like, yes, this, send it to me, I wanna try it. And I will walk you through my exact like little routine of how I incorporate this in at the end of the video because it's more of a night thing that I do. It's changed the game. I sleep so much better. And given the current times and circumstances now, it's really helping because it helps with anxiety too. CBD oil is proven to help reduce stress, help reduce anxieties, but also help with pain. So this is an oil that you actually take. It's not a topical, it's not a massage oil. It's one that you actually consume by mouth. I got the mint flavor and I love the packaging. I think it looks so cute and pretty on my little, little side table bed table here. So I, I quite enjoy having that incorporated into my routine because number one, I can struggle a little with getting overwhelmed. I am a very sensitive individual. I feel a lot of people's energies, emotions. So obviously the news is not something I like to consume a lot of, but I do like to stay in the know. So a part of my night routine, which you will see is me finally taking in like the numbers. I go to the government websites only or who, um, if I have any like questions, concerns, I only go to very certain websites. I don't turn on the news and let them throw anything my way. I'm very, very picky. I do like to look at the, the count of the numbers of who's being affected the most and all of that because I do I do like to stay very informed. Um, but during the day, it's my time and I don't focus on it. Obviously, if something needs my attention, someone will call me. If something personal in my personal life is happening that I need to know, I will know. But I don't turn on the news. I don't look online. I, I just focus on work. And I think that's really, really important during this time for many people. I understand some people's jobs, they actually have to know what's going on. For me, <laughs> my job is creating content for you guys. And I really want my content during this time to be a source of light and kind of a release and fun and inspiration. 
I don't want to go on and on about this, and this is probably the only vlog that I'll speak the most about it right now, but I do want to be that place that you can go and feel a sense of relief from it. So yes, the one way that I've really been benefiting from CBD oil is I will like have my dinner and take start taking a drop of this so that I'm, I'm getting calm, um, and then I can kind of take in the information that I need to know for that day. Premium Jane CBD Oil has offered you guys a 20% off coupon code with coupon code Kaylina. So I will leave that link below. All their information is there, their website, you can shop, look around. So I will leave that down below for you to take a look at. And look at the packaging, it's so cute. I still have a box here too. I love aesthetics. I like things to look pretty. I'm into fashion, I'm in the fashion industry for work. So obviously I like how things look. This closet's kind of broken though. <laughs> That is so unlike me, but priorities. Okay, you're balancing on the edge of my bed right now, which is a little, a little frightening, but we'll make it work. So I have stuff that I'm selling actually on Vestaire Collective. This bag is one of them. This is a Rebecca Minkoff bag. Uh, I did a video with them, so I'll have that video already linked below for you if you wanna see how you can access my Vestaire Collective. And I'm also selling this fin actually, I take that back. This girl made an offer and then I accepted. So this is being shipped out. So I'm going to place this on my butt. I also am selling these Paco Rabanne earrings. I'm just, I'm just not grabbing for them. I love them, um, but I'm just not, not until I buy my house. And by house, I mean like a penthouse situation. And I'm very picky. I'm wanting to purchase my own home. And until I do that, I've made a deal with myself to shop a little differently and I'm not in a mood to collect things. I don't have the space, I live in a small Parisian apartment, but it's also just, just I just don't wanna collect things right now. But once I do and I have my big walk-in closet again and everything, that will be a different game in like maybe a year or a couple years. But these earrings, I'm just, not using them. So these earrings are still for sale if you want them. You can't see, but I'm placing these up on my bed. I'm also selling my Miu Miu sunglasses. I know someone has to be interested in these because I get so many compliments anytime I'm wearing these. So Miu Miu sunglasses, they're the half frames, tortoise shell. They're in like a black gray color comes with her pouch. So anyway, just wanted to quickly mention those things to you in case any of you watching are interested. Okay, for the sake of things getting boring, I'm just going to finish up real quick and then I will walk over with you really quickly what I did. But again, I don't wanna to spend too much time on this because I feel like enough vloggers do. So, be your dog. So let me just show you. So in here, I just have my skirts stacked here still, my belts here, jeans, I have my sports bras, and underneath I have my workout leggings, and then I have my workout tops if I choose to use those, okay? So this section is done, and I don't know if I told you guys this yet, but I have very limited space <laughs> when it comes to drawers and storage. So. Um, over here, these are not my things, these are. So I have my two sweaters. I actually have most of my sweaters in the washing machine right now. So that's why this looks kind of depressing and I'm wearing one. So back here is a little strange. You might be thinking that's odd. I agree. However, <laughs> I wanted somewhere safe to put the things that I'm selling and for the meantime, this is just going to be that little corner of the things that I'm selling because I want to keep them clean and safe. So. Keeping those there for now. This is also weird. I don't have a jewelry dish. I thought I brought mine with me, but I think I actually ended up shipping it to my grandparents. Anything that was really important that I wanted back one day, I ended up just shipping over to where my grandparents live. So I think maybe that's where it is. Now that I know I don't have a real proper jewelry display dish, I will be purchasing one because I actually want to 
be purchasing a lot more jewelry, which I talked about in my IGTV vlog. Um, and then I have my lotion here. So that's done. I feel so much better. Really quick, really simple. Oh yeah, and this drawer. This is the other part. So here I have my tights all rolled up. I did a Marie Kondo style type thing. You can't really tell, but tights are rolled. My knee-high socks are here all rolled up. Everything's black. I know it's hard to see. I don't roll my socks. I just do that whole weird situation thing. Um, I have all my comfy like bedtime loungewear sweaters here and sweatshirts. Back here are my silk camis that I normally wear at night. This is bathing suits. I have my bras, underwear. <laughs> Weird to show you guys that. I have some more like lacier items back here. Here are my shorts, my like loungewear shorts. I will be getting more obviously when it gets warmer out so that's where they will stack up. And same with these tank tops. These are the tank tops I like to wear underneath. Sheer tops if I'm feeling like I need an extra layer. So those go here. And then all of these guys are what I pulled out of here that were kind of very messily thrown back here. It was a disaster. So I folded everybody up nice. I have cardigans here, my blazer, jackets, and my dresses. And these will all be hung up in this side of the closet with the rest of my clothes. This is not, like I said, a whole wardrobe tour type of thing, but most of my clothes are hanging in the closet because of that is the best way to take care of your clothes besides sweaters. So any knits, big heavy sweaters, they go they go here. Yes. Okay, so now I actually just quickly vacuumed because the dog hair was a little out of control. Chloe's been shedding a lot lately, like a way lot more than normal. Anyway, as I planned, we're going to do my workout now. So I have to be really honest. I have embarrassingly fell away out of my workout routines and I won't even say for how long it's been very inconsistent and it's really odd to say that because it's not like me I am someone who not only just like physically but I like mentally need workouts it's just better because I have such an active mind it's just really something that balances me and it's just very strange that I fell out of a routine for so long so I really want to get back seriously into my routines. I've been doing this for about a week now, so we're going one week strong. So I thought I would share with you my workout, but I had an idea because I have been doing similar kind of workouts since I was 16 years old, yoga, Pilates, bar. Um, I took ballet when I was a kid, so I really like dancing for a workout as well. So because of that, I do have muscle memory, but I've always been able to like bounce back really really quite fast and the interesting thing is is I had two friends who have completely different body types than me do my workouts that I told them to do and follow my routine and they bounced like quick some of them have never had a workout routine and one of them had been in sports but it's been a long time so I thought that was kind of interesting and I guess maybe even as like my own little social experiment but also because I really I'm a sharer, I like to help people, and if something's benefiting me, I want other people to benefit from it. I'm not selfish at all. Maybe I can do my workout routines on the channel. I was thinking like a program you guys can print out and also do maybe like five workout videos that I have put together. My workouts are very like Pilates, high intensity interval training, coupled with a lot of stretching, a lot of yoga. So I really designed them to get that long, lean, but strong, healthy body. I'm not a professional. I didn't go to school for this or anything at all, but I do know what works for my body. and. It's only two friends, I know, but two completely different body types from myself and individually who benefited from this. So I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm the fashion girl, but I do have quite a passion in health. So I don't know. Anyway, I thought maybe it could just be something fun that we could do together to get our bodies strong and, and lean and, and to do so as fast as possible keeping in mind that some of us have muscle memory from the sports we've done in the past or working out in the past everything kind of has to come into play when you're when you're doing this and keep in mind that not everybody's body type is going to bounce as quickly and diet has a huge component to it but anyway i'm doing a social experiment for myself as well i don't want to ramble on and on about it in this video but i like 
to eat and I like to eat what I want to eat <laughs> and I'm very much an intuitive eater so I listen to my body I'm an intuitive eater it took a long time to get there it was it's not like a, I'm gonna be an intuitive eater and then ta-da, you are it it takes knowing your body and it's like a mental thing as well and knowing what you're substituting foods for um, if it's actually because you need the nutrients or because there's something emotional going on so I am just going to stick with my intuitive eating. Sometimes I do intermittent fasting, sometimes I don't. I'm very much not strict, but I do listen to my body. And if my body's like, no, we're not having that piece of pie with a bunch of cream, that's very much a signal that I'm getting from my body, not from my mind, making me feel guilty and like, no, we shouldn't have that. And it goes to the adverse too. Like, I don't have such a, a focus of like, no, I can't have that. And if I do, oh my God, I'm bad and I'm going to gain weight. I, if I want to have a chocolate croissant on a Sunday, I will have it, um, but it's a balance. Like the rest of the day I will eat light or maybe I will have like a pasta dinner, but the next day and the next few days, I listen to my body and my body wants me to eat lighter foods and then I do. But with that said, I like chocolate and I am not quitting my chocolate and so we'll see. It's kind of an experiment to see like, can I lose the weight that I want and tone up the way I want? just as quickly without making those diet changes. That's not to say I'm eating fried foods. I'm just not this way. I'm very much a plant-based eater, but I have the sweets and I do eat um, fish and eggs occasionally as well. So my new rule for myself is to do 45 minutes of a workout every single day. doesn't matter what time of the day, it's just that it is done every day. So if it's nighttime and I still haven't gotten it in, I'm doing it it's hard for like the first few days but for me at least once I get into it then I like I crave it it's, it happens quite quickly for me and I know I'm lucky in that but I am also kind of someone that needs it so the workouts if I need just to balance me and it puts me in a better mood and it's just really good for me get out your mats we're gonna do this together Got my mats here let's go No. Okay, so the workout is done. And now it's time to work. I just devoured that avocado sandwich I showed you. It's already gone. It took like two seconds. I have a lot of work to do, so now it's getting on with the work day. So I got my little organizing session out of the way. I got my workout done. And now it's time to work for the rest of the day slash evening until I make dinner. So top of my list, besides filming this video with you guys, was to edit my IGTV that I filmed Saturday. So I filmed my whole kind of work, shoot for Instagram, TikTok, content making kind of day this Saturday. So you guys can see that over on IGTV. I'm sure it will be up before this video. I want to get that done. I will feel... So good once that's done. I'm also really excited for this because I can edit on my phone, whereas editing on my computer, I can't stand it. It's really hard for me to kind of sit there and edit for so long. So I'm interested to see how this editing of IGTV thing on my phone goes. So I think I shall 
get on with work now and do my IGTV vlog and answer emails. Fun things. show you guys what I typically do on a Monday for dinner. So I got into this very good habit that's been long awaited, I should have a long time ago, because it's been really helpful. So I boil a huge pot of water and then I will cook up my pasta. Pasta's like a go-to, so I normally will get a brown rice pasta or a quinoa pasta. And then I have a pot full of pasta for the whole week. I really don't have the time nor the like, ambition to cook every single night. I love to bake, but cooking, not so much. This is my way of making sure I'm getting a nice, warm, yummy meal every night because I do like dinner. I just don't want to do the cooking part. So then every night I will just like throw some frozen veggies onto the pan and throw that in or mix in some beans. Sometimes I'll do a side of fish. And then other times I use this little guilty pleasure. Let me show you. A lentil bowl egg nice, it's already opened. This is my little comfort meal. My mom used to make spaghetti bolognese all the time. It was my favorite thing growing up. And so this has taken place and it's lentil. So it has my proteins and everything. I'm sure there's a lot of salt in it. I don't look, I don't eat it every single night, but I do eat it when I feel like it because I just do. So then what I will do at night is turn off this big loud light. <laughs> And then I will turn on this more nice, warm light. And then I plug in my fairy lights. And so then we'll have this nice little mood. So, and that's just one way that I like to tell my brain that it's time to calm down, mellow out a little. This light in the kitchen will be off as well. And that's how I'll eat my dinner. I think my Water is almost ready. Okay, so now I have my little chocolate dessert. Chocolate Noah. I eat this chocolate that is salted caramel. Dark chocolate. It's delicious. I really only like dark chocolate. Milk chocolate. Bleh. Dark chocolate. Yes. Okay. See, I'm still, it's pretty late and I still have like energy not productive energy but i'm still like animated anyway that's where this comes in loving this because it's helping me to sleep a lot better at night so this is the time where i will enjoy my little chocolate and my nice lighting and put on a show and take a drop of this I did want to read the instructions for you because that's important. As a dietary supplement, take once or twice daily, place half of the dropper in the mouth, wait 60 to 90 seconds, and then swallow. So, I'm going to take it now. Cheers! <laughs>